All right, guys, today we are going to be talking about something that I think is going to be controversial for some people, and that is yet another reason why you probably haven't seen Magna Cut on this channel, at least in regards to or as it relates to um, wilderness and outdoor survival fixed blades. Now, undoubtedly, like in many facets of the knife community, Magna Cut being a new, fresh, hot, new, fresh, hot, cool kind of knife steel. It has been making its rounds in both fixed blades and in pocket knives. And while I do have a good amount or at least like three or four um, pocket knives or folders in Magna Cut, I have yet to really get a fixed blade like a outdoor bushcrafting um, or wilderness survival type fixed blade in this steel. And while a lot of people on the YouTubes are championing this steel as the best thing, the you know next generation of you know a knife steel i have to say that this video is going to be why i still don't have and will probably refuse to really get cpm magnet cut knives for bushcrafting and wilderness use and ultimately i think it all comes down to one sole reason and that is at least for me, what I do when I'm out in the wilderness and what my priorities are when it comes to a survival slash bushcrafting knife. Now, for example here, I have a few knives and I'll show them as well, but the primary subject of this conversation today is going to be the Bark River Knives Bushcrafter. And the reason why is this is in CPM 3V. And to be honest, the Bushcrafter has been one of my go-to fixed blades for wilderness living as a whole for the better part of a decade. And the reason why is partly because it fits my hand very well. It's very comfortable. The size is good, um, but also because of CPM 3V. I think a lot of new iterations of steels or even um, steels that have kind of made their way into the knife world, things like ADCRV2, like this Winkler um, Blue Ridge Hunter has, or other steels such as Magna Cut have come out, you know, even things like CPM 3V. Um, and they're all good steels, but the thing that keeps pushing me back to CPM 3V is its sheer toughness. And I think this is the thing that a lot of people get misconstrued when it comes to Magna Cut is they see the corrosion resistance, they see the edge retention, and they see the toughness. But the reality is when it comes to CPM through or CPM Magna Cut is that it's not really actually that great of a steel for outdoor applications. And to be clear, when Laren Thompson made that steel for knives specifically. I think he was trying to find a good steel for pocket knives, and that's where I think Magna Cut really comes into its own. When we're using it in applications such as, you know, even multi-tools like the Leatherman um, Arc that has Magna Cut in it, I think these are good applications for CPM Magna Cut. When we're talking primarily about breaking down cardboard boxes, when we're talking primarily about, you know, processing food, processing, you know, um, textiles and stuff like that, like cutting rope, you know, it's, these are good applications for CPM Magna Cut. However, when we're talking about bushcrafting and outdoor field use, this is an entirely different um, block and kind of subject when it comes to outdoor knives as a whole. And what I mean by this is when we typically think of the use cases for bushcrafting and survival, we're talking about blades that are going to be, you know, skinning and processing game animals. So blades that are going to be coming up against hard bone, right? When we talk about, you know, feather sticking and batoning, we're talking about carving through hard wood oftentimes. And once again, batoning is going to be putting a lot of pressure and force down on your blade. And while I do think Magna Cut does offer a unique advantage because it is a very tough and tougher than things like say OS 10A of, you know, the free reign or you know, CPM or sorry, 154 CM or a lot of your stainless steels, the actual toughness of Magna Cut starts to really kind of um, get undermined, if you will, when we start to look at things like CPM 3V. Because when it comes down to it, CPM 3V is still a lot tougher than Magna Cut. And we have video proof of this. There's multiple video videos of knife makers who have legitimately gone up to, you know, like cutting um, 
what is it, like nails and even steel chain link, um, you know, just overall chains. And so when those things actually happen, when we're truthfully using knives for just straight up abusive purposes, but, you know, very tough, very hard use purposes, you can see very quickly that CPM3V is a type of steel that will actually cut through steel chains. Um, it will actually cut through um, nails and of course this is softer steel but it's still cutting through steel and there's absolutely no edge damage and so when we look at sheer toughness like how tough is the actual steel cpm 3v still comes out on top and so for me looking at you know end toughness and end edge retention does cpm magna cut beat um, CPM3V in corrosion resistance? Yes. Does it beat it in edge retention? I believe so. Um, does it beat it in, you know, certain ways? Absolutely. CPM3V, or sorry, CPM Magnica is an incredibly well-rounded steel. However, that well-roundedness is less applicable, at least in my opinion, in my experience, in my uses in the outdoor sphere when it comes to what I intend to do with my knives. And that is that not always am I going out to abuse my knives or put them into the hardest use situations or scenarios, but a lot of times I am putting serious use or I'm wanting a knife that if I have to put it into, like if I get into a pinch, being able to baton through incredibly hard things, I like to know that things like CPM3V are steels that will not likely chip, will not likely break. They'll likely cut through, once again, things like CPM3V, like the steel here with this grind can legitimately be pounded through a steel nail and it will cut the steel nail and pretty much have no edge damage, no edge roll, no chipping, no cracking, no breaking. There's going to be absolutely no damage to CPM3V. And that is because once again, CPM3V is an incredibly tough steel. It is much tougher than things like CPM Magna Cut. And once again, that doesn't mean that CPM Magna Cut or other steels are necessarily bad steels. I did for a while really enjoy CPM S35VN. And I think that once again, given certain environments, if you're working in very corrosive environments, CPM S35VN was a good choice. And once again, if you're working in incredibly corrosive environments, um, CPM Magna Cut is a very good choice. However, in high alpine, drier environments like Alaska presents oftentimes, um, having the just end sheer toughness is going to be, at least for me, more valuable than having better corrosion resistance, better edge retention um, in those types of things. So so once again, this comes down to a lot of personal factors and I don't think that this video is entirely, like I'm not trying to create this video to say this is why CPM Magna Cut sucks, but when you guys look at my you know, collection or roster of survival knives, I really don't intend on adding um, Magna Cut to that anytime soon. And I think that this is an interesting kind of um, discussion to have because even companies like Reef or Rife Knives, they recently did a two knife drop where they made a um, saber grind magna cut knife versus a Scandi and CPM3V. And a lot of people were asking, which one should you go with? And for me, once again, given my applications and what I desire in bushcrafting and field knives, I absolutely said, unsurprisingly, um, Scandi grind with CPM3V. V. Very similar, once again, to the Barker of Knives Bushcrafter, um, but this, in the end, for me, is more of an applicable choice because it is going to be more tough. It's going to offer end toughness, and once again, when we look at typical applications for bushcrafting, wilderness survival, wilderness living, we're usually going to be prioritizing toughness because it's a more hard use application. Once again, if you are just trying to break down cardboard boxes or you're just trying to break down you know, um, <clears throat> different soft materials, Magna Cut is a better choice for doing that. It is going to have better end edge retention. You're going to be able to cut, you know, more rope. You're going to be able to break down more cardboard. But if it comes down to actually pounding it through a steel nail, well, Magna Cut's not going to fare as well. And that's not necessarily a criticism against Magna Cut. I think Magna Cut is still an incredibly good steel for what it is, all things considered. However, there are better steels for wilderness application, such as CPM3V, 
and that's where I'm going to table the conversation, in my opinion. I don't think there's too much more I can really say, but in my application and my experience and use case, I would rather have harder, tougher steels that are going to be able to support um, more hard use applications like batoning, even though I do agree, or I do. I know that many of my subscribers, and I think people largely in the wilderness spheres, do not really enjoy um, batoning anymore. It's still a completely valid application, in my opinion, and it's still a realistic use. Um, so yeah. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.